Okay, everyone. Um, let's see if we can get this together here. For some reason, my week 12 and 13 um, update video cut off at four minutes. I don't know why. Frustrating. But I didn't feel like rehooking all the audio equipment back up. So um, I'm just going to do this by my phone because I know it works and you can hear me. So um, I think I got to as far as the clothes I had bought um, last week um, in my video and my high heels. So um, what I also wanted to show you um, is not related to um, weight loss surgery or nothing, but I'm going to show you anyway, because I want to. Oh, where did they go? I got, um, let's see these, some really cute flip flops. So, yeah. Um, okay. Now, to the important stuff. <laughs> um, what I wanted to talk about is what I'm eating at three months, um, post-op. Um, <clears throat> I've noticed that the amount that I can eat has changed. Um, I can eat more than what I had before. Um, let's see, for example, I'm trying to think. The little bowls that I showed what I got for before surgery, um, the little tiny bowls, now um, I can eat more than one of those. It seems like I'm eating about a quarter cup to a half a cup of food at a time, um, depending on how much liquid I had beforehand or um, when the last time was I ate or um, if I took my vitamins recently, you know, weird things like that because calcium vitamins are pretty big. Um, <clears throat> but I think that's pretty normal about this point. Um, at three months, I know at six months um, you're eating about a half a cup. So to be in between a quarter cup and a half um, sounds about right at this point. Um, the biggest thing I don't like, and I've probably said it before, is I hate eating all the meat um, because your meals are supposed to be about 50% meat and then um, low calorie, low carb veggies, low carb veggies. So that I don't mind, it's just the meat. Um, also, why I was so late on posting videos is because um, last week was my finals, which, um, as some of you might know, I'm in medical billing and coding and medical records and stuff like that. And um, I was taking a insurance and billing class. And on my final, um, I got out of 270 points, I got 270. So I had to make a financial <coughs> policy for a medical facility. Uh, um, but apparently I did well on it and I finished a class with 98% so I'm pretty proud of that and my GPA is now 3.59 so almost 3.6 um, I don't know why they didn't just round it up that would have been helpful <laughs> but anyways um, I'm now in a stinking math class and I hate math with a passion um, I just got to get myself past this class. It's uh, um, like advanced algebra and um, I'm trying to think of what the rest of it's called. There's just, there's so many math bundled up together and it's a pain in the butt. Um, but I just have this class and then two others and I'm done. And I'm probably going to take a year off because before this, I did um, two years of cosmetology, so I've really been doing four years of school. So I need a break. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, uh, something I just want to talk about. Um, I've noticed um, we went to the Cincinnati Zoo. Yeah. Um, Cincinnati, Ohio Zoo last week or week before, or something like that. And we probably walked a good four miles that day and I was able to walk it so um, not, it wasn't easy but I wasn't out of breath and I was able to keep up with my mom who is super in shape um, she's 50 and the woman has a better body than most 19 year olds um, 
she works out every day. She used to be heavy too, but she lost all the weight and she works out constantly, eats right. And I was able to keep up with her. I was able to keep up with my 23 year old cousin. Um, so, you know, I was pretty proud of myself because before there's no way I would have been able to walk that. I'm not saying it was fun because it was miserable. The zoo sucked, number one. Don't ever go to Cincinnati, Ohio Zoo. Half the animals were not out. Um, the animals that were out were passed out from the heat. It was extremely miserably hot. Um, half the concession stands were closed. One of their rides, the main ride was broke down. And I paid $60 for just me and my two kids to get in. And parking was $8. So, don't ever go to that zoo. They suck. Um, but anyways, um, I've also noticed, I said a couple of videos before, that I was able to get an entire block now walking outside with my dogs. And I've now found that that is now too easy. Um, so I've got to find a new route to go now. Um, because I want to, you know, stay on top of it. And I don't want to give myself something too easy. I want something a little harder. Um, I can now do the entire block in like 10 minutes. <clears throat> and I've been kind of jogging in between. Um which I'm shocked how much easier that is now. Um, I'm trying to think what else is important. Um, this is not related to the weight loss, but in my life. Unfortunately, my husband's van broke down. And now my van has been without reverse for a year and a half. So I finally got it in the shop yesterday. And they're telling me it's going to cost $230 just to find out if I need a new transmission. That's not even fixing anything. So I told them to go ahead and do it because I need to find out if I need a new transmission or not. If I do, we're talking like $3,500. Um, my van's in 04, so I'm kind of like, oh, great. <laughs> it's a good van. Um, it just, oh, the money. So tomorrow I'll find out if it's something simple. Um, they said it may be something like gears or something. And if that's the case, then it's only $310 total to fix it. If it needs a new transmission, then it's in the thousands. So let's all just pray that it's only going to cost me $300. Or otherwise, I'm going to be out $230 and still have a broken van. So, yeah. Um, I'm thinking that's all that's important right now. Um, I'm still not eating as much as I need to be. Um, I'm working on it, but my stomach just fills up so fast and I stay full for a while. Um, I'm not, still not getting enough water in. Um, really having a hard time with that. I'm probably getting, um, two 16 ounce bottles and then probably a half of another one. Um, so I'm getting there. Uh, Still not there though. Also, on the protein, um, Shrinking Su Susie Q, I can't talk, um, had suggested uh, beef jerky. Um, I found great beef jerky that's not that fattening. Now, hopefully, you guys can see it here. It's just a Walmart brand. And it has um, how many ounces total? 10 ounce bag. Um, I think it was like $8. Um, but 80 calories per one ounce, um, one gram of fat. Let's see, sodium 630, but you'd expect that. Carbs are 5 grams, um, 5 grams of sugar, and 14 grams of protein per one ounce. Um, I don't really like beef jerky much, but um, when I don't feel like eating or I'm on a rush or um, I'm having a hard time getting my protein in for the day because that's really important um, I will eat it just because I know I need it and something I found that is delicious and has nine grams of protein per one ounce is this stuff right here and I got this in the same place at Walmart and it is uh, like chicken nuggets, and they're really tiny. It's flaming buffalo. It is awesome. Um, I think this is probably a little more fattening. Well, no. One ounce is um, 60 calories. Sorry about that. 
um, one, 60 calories, 1 gram of fat, 3 grams of carbs, 2 sugars, um, and 9 grams of protein. So the protein count is less, um, but it's not very fattening at all, and they taste awesome. Um, I have to fight my dogs, too, because whenever I get this stuff out, they come running. They just, they know the sound. <laughs> there they are at my side right now. Um, let's see if you can see that. That's what they look like, little tiny nuggets. I'm going to give my dogs each one because they're begging for it. Hey, right here. Max. Did you get it, Maxie? Oh, your bubby took it. They fight over this stuff. This stuff is so awesome. I try not to give too much to my one dog because she's pregnant. Here, Max. But... Uh, yeah, okay. I was making sure my phone didn't die on me. Okay. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I think that's all that's important. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free. Um, comments are welcomed. So, I think that's it, guys. So, yep, I will talk to you next week. See you later.